I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Taurus, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the six of swords and it's with the nine of swords. So the nine of swords, it's the card that's below the word pass. So this is telling me that you could have been dealing with someone that they shied they they shied away from from you or the connection um or you could have been dealing with someone that was insecure or this could have been a shy type of person um this nine of swords can be about anxiety stressing out yeah. So you were dealing with someone who you wanted to make them feel comfortable around you. You wanted this person to feel like there was no need for worry. Because any problems that the two of you had before, you were ready to release those. Or any hurt or disappointment that the two of you had before, you were you were over that, and you wanted to move into a much calmer place with this person. Because the Six of Swords, the card that's above the word pass, that's all about moving. It's about moving into calmer waters. Yeah. So, but this person. They had anxiety about this, about moving into a peaceful place with you. It caused them stress. And you felt like this person was being shy or um, having anxiety about it, some worry. Something was troubling them about moving into a calmer place with you. And this is what you wanted. You wanted peace. You no longer wanted to fight anymore. But they started acting like it was it was too much for them. And because it's a nine of swords, this is telling me that some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or in Aquarius. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the star card and it's with the eight of cups. Okay, so this this star card is about being hopeful or um, trying to be hopeful, rejuvenation. Yeah, so what this is telling me, Taurus, is that you're trying to stay hopeful about this connection because um, this is someone that you really don't want to get out of your, your space. You want to keep this person close. But the Eight of Cups is here. You feel like they're about to walk away. Or you could be wondering if they're going to walk away. Because the Eight of Cups is about walking away. Leaving it all behind. Eight of Cups, that's that card that's below the word present. But you're trying to stay hopeful about the connection. Yeah, this is someone that you just want to keep close. So, let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords, and it's with the Strength card. Now, the Strength card can be about 
being the best that you can be. It can be about self-love, self-respect. It can be about self-empowerment, being strong. Um, so you could be feeling like this is how your person is wanting to be. Yeah, you could see them. They're, you could see that they're trying to um, empower empower themselves, become empowered, become become a stronger person. So, seven of swords, a card above the word challenge. That can be a sneaky type of energy. It can be, yeah, it can be someone spying on you. It could be about um, being manipulative. It can be about using games, tactics, and strategy. So like I said, Taurus, this is someone that you don't want to get out of your your life. You feel like they're pulling away from you. You feel like they're, they're trying to do other things in their life or with themselves. So you, you might find yourself doing some watching or stalking just to see what they're up to. Because you don't, you don't want this, you're not ready for this person to to leave you. Yeah. For some of you, you might start to play some games. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Fool card, and it's with the Chariot. Yeah, the Fool card can be about taking a leap of faith and just jumping right on in there. So, so Taurus, you got someone that you... Yeah, you just don't, you're not ready for this person to leave your world. You want them to just take a leap of faith and just jump right back on in there with you. That's what the fool card does. Just goes for it without questioning it. They could feel like this chariot, the chariot goes really fast. They might feel like you're... Um, trying to tempt them, tempt, tempt them to go too far, too fast. They could feel like you're pressuring them that way. Yeah, they could feel like you're trying to take charge in a forceful way. But they could be just trying to work on themselves. Like I said, for some of you, you're dealing with someone that's shy and insecure. You could be. Yeah, this Nine of Swords can be about insecurity and just not ready to open up yet. So, yeah, don't forget the roles can be switched when you get these readings. You could be them. Or they could be you, and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Taurus, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this virus season. So stay strong. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Taurus reading. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Yeah, so Taurus, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.